Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm Mrs. Cook. Ooh. This is a family that God has blessed me with. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. And remember, this is a family that we are, no matter what. What a cook say it again. Welcome, welcome, welcome to 5926 Central. We're doing a little different tonight, y'all. <laughs> we ain't playing. We ain't playing at all. What's up? What's up, Sam? What's going down? Nothing much, sis. Just made it in from work. Okay, okay. Your day was all right. You know, what happened at work and thing went down. Yeah, yeah. Today was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so for those of you that are listening, you see we're using a new look. We can switch it up a little bit, you know, because we ain't playing, you know, and, and when we want to do our show, we want to do our show. Ain't nobody got time for all that nonsense. <laughs> mm -hmm. So on our new platform, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, every Monday at 8 p.m., we will be going live, okay? Straight from youtube and also from our page 5926 on facebook we're also going to be having a couple of other places that will be landing on mondays but we'll keep you informed of that okay so listen last week we had, look we got tripped all up with that with blog talk radio and um i want y'all to still feel free to call in because uh, you can call to uh, 713-340-9163 if you want to call in, okay? But you can only call in during the 8 o'clock hour, okay? I'll, don't be, look, don't be starting with your bozoism any other time of the week. I'll let you say something right now. That's it. Get it out, okay? Now, <clears throat> now we the the business. Look, let me just, let, <laughs> okay. We got some stuff coming up. It is, it's some it's some major stuff. So we're gonna take a moment to do church announcements. We're gonna take a moment. <laughs> we'll call we call this section church announcements. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Zam start off with the church announcements. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So first and foremost, thank everybody for tuning in tonight. We really appreciate you. And just like Janice said, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. Um, okay. April 2025, April 12th to be exact. Um, we're having a fashion show. Texarkana, Arkansas um, at the Arkansas Convention Center. So we are opening it up to everything beauty. So um, if you do hair, makeup, eyebrows, eyelashes, <clears throat> um, massages, even if it's mental health, um, hit me up at Cook for Show Productions at Outlook.com. Um, and we're also on all of the social media platforms at Cook for Show Productions. And that's C-O-O-K-F-A-S-H-O -O Productions with an S. Um, we really look forward to hearing from you. And I promise you, this is an event that you have, like none you have ever seen before. And... Um, I promise you it will be entertaining from beginning to end. You do not want to miss it. Um, I'm going to give you over to Janice real quick. I got something to do, but I will be right, right back. Janice. 
All right, listen, listen. That's my cue, y'all. That's my cue. Uh, running the switchboard on you. Okay, I'm gonna let you uh, look. Let's just catch a couple. Uh, you know, let's pay a couple of bills. I think that's how they say it. And we'll be right back. Is that you? Boy, bring your butt here right now. What the? What do you call yourself doing? Yeah, we've been looking for you. I can't believe it. We're going down to the police station. I'm calling your daddy right now. I didn't do it until I'm innocent. So let me get this right. You think you're going to fight the case? In the produce section at the grocery store. What kind? Of, where they do that? At? Man, I ain't going to no jail. <laughs> yeah, man, you going to jail, buddy? Ha ha! You going to jail right now? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jerome. And where did you come from, anyway? I can't get my uncle some hog head cheese. <laughs> I just want, listen, listen, listen. I need for you to check out Lil Rallo TV. I'm not going to ask you twice. I'm not going to do it. But you need to go on over there, like, share, and subscribe. We got some stuff coming out that you need to see. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Lil Davo, man. I'm in the studio just to let y'all know, man. Y'all need to tune in to Lil Rallo TV on YouTube. We got a lot of new stuff coming. They know what's up. That's why they really hate. I slide up in that coupe, that caramel, looking flake. I double up on bitches, bring a friend, we can take it. And if that pussy water, well, I guess I'm in the Real and respected everywhere. Listen, I don't know about y'all, <laughs> but I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Listen, you just saw a couple of clips from the upcoming uh, episode of Don't Hurt Nobody. Where is Junior? Junior been lost, y'all. Junior done bust somebody upside the head with a bottle at the at the stove, you know. So they. Do. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to invite you over to. Uh, Lil Rilo TV, that's on YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm telling you, we gotta listen. This next episode is gonna be gooder than the first. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say gooder? Gooder, gooder. That's it. Yeah, I don't know where I picked it up from, but that is. You, you that sound is. like your niece, huh? You sound like your niece. Oh, cable baby. How you know? Yes, yes, yes. Birds of a feather. Birds of a feather. Listen. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk about some of these shenanigans going on in the world. You know, um, people who are still on the on the on the puff daddy thing, right? And um, somebody had the nerve. Well, it, let me not say the nerve because I want to. I want to be. Uh, I don't want to be. You, you want to be objective. Yeah, I want to be object objective. So mm -hmm. what I want to say is, uh, it was a video where somebody was saying something about uh, what's the name of that them them two boys that killed their parents and white boy that killed their parents and people were saying some of they was putting them in the same category with uh, R. Kelly and uh, uh, P. Diddy. This is my thing right here though. Uh, why is we listen listen. Listen, yeah, okay. I want to talk about the staff that works for these people. Okay, let me let me just let me just say this. Okay, 
we watched the documentary of the folk talking about what R. Kelly was doing, and they was telling us how R. Kelly was getting it done and how R. Kelly had them doing stuff. Now, now this is my thing before I get it. I wanted to address the idiocy uh, that surrounds this whole situation. Uh, why is it that the staff is not in jail? The ones that went, you know, when the pimp told them, hey, hey, go get me somebody, you know, go to the school. I want the fishermen arrested. I want, I want, you know, and I'm just saying these are my wants. And I know y'all do what y'all want to do when y'all want to do it. You understand me? We already know that P. Diddy, Mr. Love, Puff, all of him, all of his alter egos going to jail. He going to jail. They're going to slide him right under it. But when is we, okay, I know y'all like my language tonight. When is we, mm -hmm, when is we going to uh, arrest the staff? When we going to get the log of whoever or the people that was clocking in? You understand me? Driving the van, you know, picking up the children, you know, taking them to R. Kelly. When is we going to arrest these people? You understand me? I mean... What you think? What you think about it, Sam? Maybe the ones, all the ones that were turning their head the other way when they saw what they saw and didn't say anything. But and it's not just that. I think it goes further than that. You know. What about the parents? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, because some uh, of the parents had to know. They had to know. They had to know. You had to know. Like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you allowed certain things to occur. And this is just strictly, I wasn't there. I ain't seen nothing. I don't know nothing for sure. But right. if it go, if it went down the way it is looking like it's playing out to go down, mm. somebody had to know. Somebody had to know. Now, for those, <clears throat> dealing with R. Kelly, I know some of those women were, you know, full grown adults. And it was kind of like a cultish situation. Mm. I'm not talking about that. But what about Aaliyah? She was a minor. Mm. She had parents. Mm. You know? So it's like those situations. Yeah. I mean, he only did what he was allowed to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's like it's crazy. It's like it's like you 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 say like the kids that shoot up schools, you know, you know, they 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 have started arresting the parents, you know. It's your gun. You get what I'm saying? It's your gun. Yeah. You know, you involved, you know, you involved some type of way. You get what I'm saying? You involved. Yeah. I, I just feel like y'all involved and y'all need to you you get what I'm saying? You involved. In some kind of way, you are and you are an ex, an accessory, like an earring, right? You know, like an earring is an accessory because it was hanging on in there. Okay, <laughs> y'all were you are an accessory? You know, they say a purse is an accessory because the purse it, it it hangs on you, it accompanies you. It's where you are. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. You're an accessory. I, I'm just saying it for the people in the back because people don't like to take responsibility. You know, oh, oh, R. Kelly did it. Oh, Puffy did it. Oh, it was Puffy's parties, you know. But but this is the thing. You know, I've had parties. You get what I'm saying? I've had events. And and, and if a person didn't want to go, guess what they did? They didn't go. Sometimes they was a no-call, no-show. You get what I'm saying? So if you was there... You know, and you finna sit down and you finna tell me, let me tell you what was going on at the party. Petey had this, this. You going to jail. You need to go to jail or you need to be a character witness. You you need to be um probation. You you need uh you need uh some probation. You need somebody to watch you. Cause I don't understand. I don't I don't understand. You know, I don't understand why are we not let's move on I'm, I'm, I'm for real though I'm for real yeah. though definitely makes sense it makes sense it just makes sense 
It made sense. Now, now they want to talk about this man and his baby oil addiction. But this is my thing. If you got a house full of, and, and we all adults, because I ain't got time to play with y'all. If we <laughs> all, if, if, come on now, if Sean Puffy Combs is, is throwing the type of porters that y'all saying that he was throwing, you know all that baby oil wasn't for Puffy. It's like okay, you got a pedophile with ba- they got a uh, uh, got a storage room full of baby oil because the other pedophiles that's coming in there, he gonna make sure it's just like if, if if I was selling dope, if I was selling drugs, and you understand know me, I got a supply, you know, for the for the for the for the dope fiend that's coming in. Right. Okay. Come on now. Y'all better listen. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be some names drop. I don't really care. I, I think that I think that uh long as they in court going to head at the jail, you know what I'm saying? I'm good. You know, that's the only place you should be headed. Straight to jail. You know, call my mama, you know, POP holding it down, all that. <laughs> all I'm saying. All I'm saying, you know. All I'm saying. Oh, now I ain't gonna talk about Usher that soon after I just talked about that. I'll talk about that Usher a little later on in the show. Anyway, uh, uh-huh. yeah, I, I don't want to mess y'all up and get y'all. I don't want them too connected. It's not connected, even though they said no. Let me leave that alone. They throwing some names out there right now. You know, they already threw a big time pastor name out there, but mm-hmm. people tend. And I, I'm not saying that the pastor is guilty. And I, and in this case, I can't say show me the tape because I, you know, the R. Kelly tape situation. Uh, after, let's move on. Don't show me the tape. I don't want to see the tape. I, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't want to see the tape. All I'm saying is, right? Y'all be putting these people on pedestals. Oh, they're a pastor. This, this person is in a. This person was born of a woman just like you. You understand what I'm saying? Came through the same place. You can't do. You can't count people out. And I'm not saying that the pastor is guilty because I don't. I, I didn't review the tape. I went in the evidence room. I went on. I ain't on the defense, and I ain't on the persecution, prosecution, or perse. Well, I'm on the persecution, not the prosecution. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm saying is, you know, uh, uh, if 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 in if in this man and then did what he did, you know, he needs to be, they, they should have a line outside the courthouse. Okay. You next. All right. Cause let me tell y'all something. When we was coming up and, and folk was finna get a whooping. My mama had eight kids. She lined them up, line up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Line them up. Right. <laughs> sure. yeah. You know, so, so my, I, I, I believe in it. Line them up, right, and 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 just take them on through. You know, they talking about they got a jury of his peers. If you had a jury of his peers, then that means everybody that was accused would be sitting on the jury. You got a jury of folk that's supposed to not be biased and and don't know puffy or something. But I don't know who you got. You know, I don't know who you got. You know. But like you said, I and when you brought up Aaliyah there now, now this I saw a photograph. I'm gonna throw this at y'all. Okay, because I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm on the outside looking in. I don't know these people. I ain't I don't know them personally. We didn't go to IHOP together, nothing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I saw a picture, Zam, on the picture. That was Damon. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna call first names because I don't want to get him, you know, I'm just telling y'all what was on the picture. It was Damon on there. <laughs> you know how we be, you know, at home in the hood. I saw it. It was Damon. Damon was on there, right? Mm-hmm. Now, 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 uh, uh, that other one that's married to the lady that's over the beehive was on there, mm-hmm. right? Oh, Jay, Jay, Jay. Mm-hmm. Right? I don't know what that initial is at the end, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, uh, Aaliyah was, Aaliyah was in one picture kissing on him and in the other picture you understand me kissing on somebody else okay now now 
all I'm going to say is it made me think of why did her plane go down? Hmm. It made me think of some stuff now. I'm telling you, all of these dots about to be connected. Okay? They about to mark my words. It shows I'm, it shows I'm on this new podcast tonight. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you right now. Right now. So I'm about to go down. I'm telling you. I want to know, after they after they put all these counts, you know, what did Zell say? Zell, cases on cases. Cases, cases on cases. <laughs> cases. <laughs> Look, nigga, cases <clears throat> on cases. After they put all these cases up on, up on him, up on him. Listen, I need to know about the, I need to, I need the black box from the plane, you know, that went down with a lid in it. You understand me? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And somebody, you might be saying, oh, Lord, no. You, oh, okay, call on. But I'm telling you right now, it's some foul play going on somewhere. And whoever them is releasing these, uh, vid- <laughs> these AI videos with Puffy and what's that man? Boy name? Listen, what's that boy name? I don't even know what that boy. Oh name. my gosh! I didn't. I, Meek. Oh, M- Meek and Mild. Yes, man. I've seen some videos that just have me rolling. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hilarious. Which yeah. I shouldn't be laughing because the situation ain't funny. It really ain't, but hilarious. Yeah. Something else. And something else. Now, let me ask you. Okay, so, and, the, and Paula Justin Bieber, even though he grown as hell now, Paula Justin Bieber, you understand me, wrote about it in a song. Yeah. See, this one lets me, lets me further know that is some is some folks of 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 a different skin color involved in this whole P Diddy situation. Cause when that little white boy said what he said, you would think that the earth would move and folk would be, you get what I'm saying, dealt with. But it lets me further know that it's it's some stuff going on. It's some, cause you think about it, that man made making the band. He made he made a lot of, he did a lot of stuff now. Yeah. He was with J Lo. Hmm. Folks was like, well, what she what they break up for? What they break up for? Well, from TikTok, I'm reading, I'm reading what Sable say. Well, from TikTok, B and her hubby had something to do with it. And that's when B came out with the song, I'm a survivor. <laughs> Once Aaliyah died, she came out with that song. If you listen to the girl, I'm going to listen to the lyrics, Sable. I'm I'm in there. I'm going to listen to, girl, huh. girl, I'm about to, listen. You see that comment, Sam? Mm-mm. For real. <laughs> look, look, Sable off the train, girl, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Mm. Just know he didn't care about listen, but he gonna care about his sexuality when he go up and when he uh listen, listen. So he gonna go right look, he gonna go up in that jail house, they gonna say peaches and cream, and it's gonna be listen, it's gonna be done. Listen, I, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna hurt y'all feel I'm trying to I'm I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it keep it keep it kosher. Um let's move on in other news. <laughs> The election is coming up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <clears throat> it is what it is oh what it God. is, and it ain't what it ain't. And it ain't what it ain't. Not like Zam. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna start off by saying <laughs> this. I try to stay out of political conversations. Yeah. I just want it to be known that I support my grandchildren. I support their health and their well-being. I support me and my family's health and well-being. I support all things that are good. Anything to help the homeless, I support anything to help 
children who are in the in the system who need help who want help i support all the things that would make someone's life um their value of life or their um way of life or their their lives richer and i'm not talking monetarily i'm talking about so they can just have the basic human needs that you have to have to survive right. i support all of that stuff mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and for me that's the same thing that every other human being should be supporting yeah yeah so it doesn't matter if you're red or blue it doesn't matter which one you quote unquote stand for if you yeah. stand for right and the betterment of everybody not just the people who are in your um in your class or the people who are in your tax bracket like it's a win-win situation right so for me i try to stay out of politics politic stuff you know it's just um i am i am for all the things that i just mentioned and i approve that message i do too <laughs> like Listen. it's i it's it's a headache because it's a headache at the end of the day when you when you think about it it doesn't matter who wins it's gonna be some shit it is <laughs> so it's like you yes. you just you just sitting back with with popcorn just waiting to see where the chips are gonna fall. Mm -hmm. Straight up. But but I I am a firm supporter of all that I mentioned earlier. And everybody else should be as well. Exactly. So and you know, I was listening and I was listening to a couple of people, and I ain't political either, you know, because once I know who I'm going to vote for, I don't really care what other folks say in no way. Yeah. So somebody was on, somebody was on this, uh, it was it was two things that I'm going to bring up. Somebody wanted to fight against K. I'm going to call her, I'm going to call her VPK. Mm -hmm. You'll get it in a minute, listen. Mm-hmm. They were fighting. They say oh, she ain't black, and I'm. And this is my thing. It's just like when Obama was the president, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And people were saying, "Well, he ain't done. He ain't, and 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 y'all, I'm going to speak in dialect because I know people are going to say, "Hey, she talk ignorant." Well, I got an ignorant side, okay? So, you know. Anyway, Obama, he wasn't doing nothing for for black people. He ain't did nothing for me. Well, you, you, you do understand that he was the president of the United States. This is what got me. They was like, but he black, but he is the black president of the whole United States. You know, not the black United States. You know, the right. whole United States. Right. Okay. So now we are at the VPK and, uh, Somebody was, oh, she ain't black. She ain't black for real. <laughs> now, out of all the things that's happening in the world, we finna fight because she ain't black. This is my thing. I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Long as she ain't orange. Listen, listen oh, I don't wanna. I, listen, y'all can be on the color thing you want to. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm trying to talk in a language that y'all she ain't black. Well, she ain't orange either. Okay? She ain't orange. Okay? She ain't accusing you of eating dogs and cats and birds. Well, you know, I'm from the country. Squirrel. Listen. <laughs> listen. She ain't orange. That's all I'm going to tell you. I ain't political anyway. I, I ain't political at all. 
People be talking to me and they be mad. They be passionate. This dude told me, ain't no woman got no business being no president. This world ain't ready for it. So the, the world was ready for, for a felon and a, and a, uh, never mind. Never mind. Let's move on. I want to <laughs> get into some. <laughs> oh, we always talk about what we ain't ready for. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, let's get into Zam. You want to you want to bring up anything you want to talk about before we get into Bozo Wisdom? <clears throat> I I can't think of anything right off the the bat right now. Not right now. Oh, Bozo Wisdom. Listen. Now this is the segment of the show where we talk about Bozo Wisdom. I'm gonna have a cute little old sound to go with it in a minute, but today. Uh, I want to talk about bozoism, okay? Um, bozoism, I just want to help some people. Uh, bozoism is what we talk about. A bozo can be a male or a female, okay? Mm -hmm. A male or a female. It has no respect of person for you people who go to church. Bozoism is the sheer ignorance of desiring something that you don't have the aptitude for mm. or doing things. And it's, it's the ignorance mm. is being, <laughs> it's the mm. audacity. Yes, the all. Gay dog. come on. <laughs> like, it just makes absolutely no sense. No sense at all. Yeah. So let's get it. Today, I'm going to be talking about parent bozoism. Like, it's some parents that's bozos. Okay. Just, just rightfully <clears throat> wrong. Just rightfully wrong, okay? It could be you as a parent. It could be your mama as a parent. This I don't want you to take anything that I say personally, but they did say a hit dog would holler. <laughs> All I'm saying. So, uh, bozoism. Uh, bozoism is a mother expecting her son who has no who has no high school diploma to get a woman who has a college degree. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'll let that rest on you. I'll let it rest on you. I don't want you with her. She ain't she ain't go to school. He can't spell. He can't read. <laughs> and he can't count. So <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying you need to lower your standard a little bit for your son. Your son, your son probably need a helmet. Your son probably <laughs> Your son probably need a see-through backpack. <laughs> bozoism at its finest. At its finest, bozoism. Okay? Mm. Par parental bozoism. You got some parents that's bullies. That's bozoism. You push your kids around. You tell them that they ain't nothing. You tell them they not going to be nothing. You call them all kinds of B's and H's. You know what that means. Mm -hmm. You do all of these shenanigans because you are pro you are projecting what you are over to your children. Mm -hmm. Bozoism. I'm going to sit that <clears throat> right there. Bozoism. Mm. Ah. Bullies. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. You got on a brand new pair of shoes, but your child been wearing that same pair for years. Uh-huh. Sure is. It's a hole on the bottom of that shoe. But you don't know it. You won't know why? Because you don't look at his shoes. You don't look at him. He get beat up at school. He getting talked about. You know? And you look good. You look good. Your hair is done. Your nails is done. I'm talking about bozoism. Parental bozoism. And I'm going to talk about my biggest pet peeve tonight. You know? Back in the day when I was on what they call food stamp, but now they call snap. Zam, I had to go into the food stamp office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to sit there with your bills in hand and your integrity, you know, and your self esteem, you know, waiting on somebody to hand you something to eat. So while sitting there, hungry for chicken nuggets, because I love McDonald's chicken nuggets, 
a lady was in there, you know, she was wearing next to nothing. And I don't judge because, hey, people wear next to nothing in this life. Mm-hmm. I know it's sable. I need some right now, baby. I need some stamps. Listen. So the lady, and, and this is my biggest pet peeve now, because I don't understand why. Every time I go in there, the baby nose running. Is it like, you, listen, listen. And I know you wasn't raised right. Cause see, I, I, I was, I was raised. Zam was raised. Those that are listening was raised by a mama who carried some, 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 some tissue paper, paper towel. Oh, baby wipes. Didn't have no baby, baby wipes in they purse. Yeah. So please tell me why your kid knows I always running. You understand me? I is the biggest pet. Listen. Then they want to tell you, ain't he cute? I got a mask on, gloves on. I got, listen, I'm not playing with you and your children. And I'm talking about parental bozoism. Mm. Mm. Parental bozoism. Zam, do you have anything you want to add to the parental bozoism of the day? Um, I think I got you on one. Okay, come on. Because, um... I just saw something today where this grown, grown parent, Mm -hmm. single parent, Mm -hmm. left the child and went to, on a two-week vacation, 14 days, I want to say. Girl, bye. And left the child child at home by themselves. The baby baby was just a little over a year old. She, She was 16 months. Girl, bye. Left the baby in the playpen and was gone for two weeks. Now, this is what she said. Now, you sit right there. Mama will be right back. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, yeah. listen. Girl, bye. I know you lying. And was she was taking, posting on social media, taking oh. photos, you know, videos. And she was just living her best life. To get home and call 911 and said that her baby, she thinks her baby is dying. I'm the idiot that is on her Facebook post with my glasses on my nose saying, where the baby at? <laughs> where the baby at? Oh, she got a margarita. Where the baby at? Mm. Somebody find the baby. Somebody, f- girl, bye. Both of us. That's like that other lady that was running that daycare and left out of town, left the kids and listen. Or them or 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 oh god him. Or the young lady let her let her boyfriend beat her kid. Mm. Let her boyfriend beat her kid to death. Turn around, let him take the baby. I don't know if she if he took the baby somewhere. Uh I forgot how the whole thing went down, but you sat there. And I'm trying to keep from saying words that are upset people. You left there. Mhm. Oh, girl, you sat there and let that man beat your child to death. Now imagine if whatever you were convicted for had to happen to you, man. Now I ain't saying going go back to the Bible days. The baby was already dead. Talk to me, Sable. Talk to me. Now. I ain't saying going back to the Bible day, but I'm hearing some things that ain't right. You know, they had the back. Listen, it was, we talking about parental bozoism. Now it was this lady, mm. right? Mm. And adopted a kid, fostered a kid, adopted the baby, everything. Now while she was fostering and, and adopting and going through the process, the baby was dressed in church. You see, that's, that's what they should have. They should have noticed when that baby was dressed in the church shoes that that baby was in danger. But anyway, had the baby dressed in, it had bow rats in the baby hair, you know, all kinds of stuff. After the now, after she didn't adopted the baby and everything, and 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 nobody coming to her house no more. She didn't lock the baby in the closet. She didn't starve the but she didn't starve the poor kid. The kid is in the closet. You understand me? You know, oh. Do y'all, you vetting these people? See, I'm trying, trying my best. 
And see, but well, and that in itself leads me to the children who don't have to deal with that. Yeah. That leads me to these children now who just feel like they're entitled to mm. things without having to work for it, without having to do, but it's not the kid's fault now. Mm. It's not the it's not it's not the kids' fault. It's not their fault that the parents just well, I'm not gonna let them live the way I lived when I was, you know, growing yeah. up. You know, I want them to have the best of everything, and nothing's wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But they have to know that in order to get that, they have to work for it. You Do they have to go through what you went through? No. No. But they still have to be responsible. They still have to know that. These things are nice. All these things that I'm giving you are nice. These opportunities that you have, it's great. But you have to work for them. You got to work for them. You, you have to. You got to work for them. Sam, you remember back in the day, mama used to watch all them crazy movies. She watched, She and I don't know if it was Lifetime or what it was. I don't know if Lifetime was back then, but. Uh, mama watched this movie, and in this movie, the 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 daughter, the daughter, uh, was taking care of her mother. Okay, the daughter was taking care of her mother. All right, and 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 everybody wondered why the mother was always quiet, right? And I'm talking about parent. I'm still talking about parental bozoism. She was beating the grandmother. Okay, she was beating her mother. Okay, grandkids didn't know why the grandmother was just so quiet all the time. She was beating the brakes off her mama. Now, why are you saying that today, Queenie? I'm saying it because you listen. The Mendez brothers, boom. See how it came up. See how it got me. The Mendez brothers took their parents on up out of here. Okay. Took them up out of here, had them some champagne, uh, some parties, you know, after they did it. You got to choose what you want to raise. That's all I'm saying. You got to choose what you want to raise. No, no. If you don't teach your children that you got to work for stuff, then they ain't going to work for it, but they going to get it. Now, you can put you can put two and two together. You know, you know. And see, you have you have these children who um, they don't have to worry about people. They don't have to worry about where their next meal is coming from. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry about having a place to sleep. They don't have to worry about any of these things. Mm -hmm. But yet and still, they choose to act as though they have. Mm. had to worry about those things. Mm. Mm. And then you, on top of that, the entitlement that comes along with, I'm going to do what I want to do and I'm going to get everything that I want to get and I don't have any consequences or repercussions from doing so. Mm. You know? And so I was always taught to raise your children so if something were to happen to you, other people wouldn't mind taking care of them. Mm. Oh, that was a good one. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know too many that I would want to take care of, Janice. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, they, they be, they be like stuck out, like. And honestly, I just, I would not feel bad about it. Mm. I'm gonna put my shades on while I'm in the house, and I'm gonna say I don't know now. I don't know now. Because it's like, right. and the the way things are going, you know, you take in a kid and then you got to lock your door when you go to sleep at night. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, mm. but it's, it's, you can't just not be there, but give them everything that they ask for, give them everything they want and just do that because you feel bad because you're not there. Yeah. But there you still know, has to be some consequences. There has to be 
they have to be able to function as adults. And mm -hmm. if you do this for them as children, mm -hmm. when they become adults, they're going to expect the same thing. Mm -hmm. And That's then true. they end up where I work. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it's like, yes. yeah, it's, it's, um, they end up in the system. In the system. Because they, they can't get it through their head that no, you cannot have that. Yeah. That is not yours. Yeah. And you can't, you can't do X, Y, Z to this person just to get whatever it is that you want. You know, so. I'm going to talk about, <clears throat> I'm going to call this gentle bozoism. Okay. But a bozo, <laughs> a bozo is a bozo, is a bozo. Okay. <laughs> Listen, all this, it's, it's this thing called parental you know how like survivor's remorse, right? Okay, yeah. I knew this lady. This lady, she would, she would, she would uh, cater to her daughters, and she would uh, apologize frequently. I'm not talking about in the at the norm. I'm talking about it was to, to it would it got so bad till I told her I said you better not say you're sorry. Now I'm gonna tell you why. She figured okay. My kids' daddy left them. I got to take care of them. They didn't deserve it. I got to this and I got to that. Now, in my brain, I'm just going to say it. In my mm -hmm. brain. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about how I function, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care who left me. Let me tell you something. My son was, he was at, at that age where, he went to sleep short and woke up taller than me, right? Mm -hmm. He went to sleep. It, it took two days. He went to sleep. <laughs> he woke up taller than me. Looked, you know, then he woke up and then he was real tall. And I had to look at him. I had to look up at him, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when I laid in the bed that next night and I already knew that he had high blood pressure because he was crazy. And he was, he was slightly, he was, he was in that boy stage, you know, and boys crazy at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, <laughs> 19 tw to 25. And uh, <laughs> so I got up one morning and I was coming through the thing and uh, at coming down the hall, I say, uh, I, I looked in the room and he was still in the bed. Now I say, you know, and I, I'm a little crazy. You know, I, I got hit in the head when I was younger, you know, playing softball. And I got hit in the head. But listen, I said, boy, get your butt up and go to school. Right? Because, you know, I'm not a morning person. I'm still asleep because I done already trained you that when I wake up, my nobody should be here. You get right. what I'm saying? Y'all right. visit me. Y'all come and visit me. When I <laughs> nobody should. I said, boy, go to school. He ain't get, he ain't get up and go. I'm ignorant. You know, I'm Bill, I'm Billy Cook's daughter. I go in the room, snatch all the cover off on care. You understand me? I'm I'm so he gets up slow. See, this right here where you know you, you know you about to you you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you you he gets up slow. When he gets up slow, he stands up. Y'all know who I'm talking about, though. That know who y'all know who this is. He got up slow and he he pulled his shoulders back, popped his back. Now I looked around the room because I because I'm gonna tell y'all right now I'm ignorant. I looked around the room. I said, you know, and me and him had been going toe to toe with it anyway. Boy, you better shut up. Oh, oh, oh I know you, you 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 what you say it say it. See, I'm one of the mamas, you know, I don't know if you want to call it old school. I'm one of the mamas that'll clown you where you clown me. You know, I'm one of the mamas that you might have, I might have to take you to the dentist tomorrow, you know, because I, I, I knock your teeth to, don't tell nobody. Listen, so he swole all up, you understand me? And uh, uh, I say, I say, boy, did you hear what I said? You need to put some pep in your step. I pulled a sister cook. You need to put a, put some pep you know now i didn't realize this boy bigger than me right he mm -hmm. walks all up to the living room taking his time ignoring me you know like ignoring me zam like like 
<laughs> you know, gave me his back. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, listen. I had to, you know, I had to get myself ready because I was like, I don't want to break out this Vaseline. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go down. Girl, get in that living room. He sits down with a bowl of cereal. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> now, Zam, now, you know, I get up. I like my coffee in the morning. I like the house to be to be empty. You understand me? I'm finna, I'm finna turn on channel 13. I'm finna watch by uh news. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I snatch the bowl. Boy, you better get, boy get I said, boy, if you don't get up, boy, I'm about to. So he rose up, Zam. Listen. Wait a minute. He didn't stand up. He rose up. Girl, slow. I don't know what this morning <laughs> did to him. I don't know what happened. But girl, I didn't, you know, people say they saw red. Girl, I didn't see no red. I didn't see no red, girl. Before I knew it, I had ran up on the couch, jumped on the pillow, got up on the arm of the couch, came down with his neck. He was in a headlock. I say, <laughs> nigga. I say, nigga, I ain't living with nothing I'm scared of. I will beat your... Hey, let me tell you something. And today, he's a Marine. I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna help y'all out today. I'm just gonna help you. He's a marine now. He's a marine, you know. Mm -hmm. Listen, I always told my kids, if I don't get what I want, you don't get what you want. That was the rule. I, I put it on the refrigerator. I don't get what I want, you won't get what you want. And I'm just sending those nuggets out to some of these parents that's slipping slowly into bozo wisdom. Mm -hmm. You're slipping, all I'm gonna tell you. Will your son turn around and tell you, I ain't gonna do it, or no, or ain't, or, listen. Mm -mm. Y'all ain't never heard of the middle of next week. Y'all ain't never heard of it. Mm-mm, mm-mm, y'all ain't heard of it, mm-mm. Mm -mm. See if they bring back them braid, them plaited switches, you know, a whole lot of this stuff be cut out. A whole lot of. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Zam, if there be anything else, we go in our segment on bozoism. <laughs> mm -hmm. There be anything else? I think I helped somebody today. I, I I I hope so. I hope somebody got somebody this today. And listen, if you two things. The first thing being, raise your children like something could happen to you and somebody else has to watch them. That mm. way nobody else won't mind watching your children or taking mm. care of your children and bringing them into adulthood. <laughs> because I, I, I can't do it. The, the way the way the way my mind is set up right now yes I can't do it yes oh my god I can't do it it takes a special person oh my god I said at one point I wanted to get a ranch and you know have it fully equipped and adopt those those children who get left in the system you know the 10 and up because everybody want babies you know <laughs> So that leaves all the ones in the middle. But I had one of them ones in the middle. Jesus. And I had to, I had to, I had to let that line. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And it just messed it up for all the mother babies. All the mother babies. Listen. All the mother babies who really want to do something, who really want to make it. Listen. Listen. So y'all parents, y'all need to think about that. Yeah. And, and I'm going to give you some tools that you need to make it. Okay. okay. First of all, uh, I, first, let me, let me respond to some comments. Okay. Teeth gone missing. Sable, I'm with you. You on fire tonight. Yes. The tub beating. You on it, girl. I, you're on fire tonight. Okay. Uh-huh. Jayla. Woo. No teeth. I got you, girl. Yes. You're on fire tonight. Listen, listen. Your secret safe with me. May I knew we had I knew we had a thing going on. Uh, <clears throat> so this is what I want to say. <clears throat> Medicaid. 
Okay, get you some Medicaid that get the dental benefits. Be careful when you pick your plan. Make sure you <laughs> pick the one. Come on. You know, if listen, if you got a son and his neck is thick and it's a little dark, you need to get some tennis shoes that go in your tool pouch like Batman. You need a utility belt. You need your tennis shoes. Okay. Get your pair of tennis shoes. All right. And you need, uh, some people say, get you some Vaseline. No, I, I'm not a Vaseline lady. Uh, I'm going to let you have it. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to let you have it. When you rise up in my house slow, uh, yes, yes, I'm going to let you have it. I don't need no Vaseline. You know, I'm going to knock you down where you stand. That's just, This is for parents who, who ain't bozos, okay? You ain't scared, okay? You mm -hmm. had them. You had them. They didn't have you, okay? All right. Listen, all right. Then I wrote down... Uh, uh, what Sable was talking about. This is a very important thing. Let me put it back on the screen. Okay. The tubby. Listen, listen. Me and my sister had uh, had uh, paired up with this young lady. Uh, somebody is texting me. Listen, me and my sister had paired up with this young lady that lived next door to us. Okay. Mm -hmm. The lady was a thief. She wanted to go to the store and she wanted to steal. Okay, she was so a mama, child at the time, y'all. We was a child. She wanted to steal, so we went. We go down to the grocery store, right? Now I'm just as dumb as a box of rocks. Okay, uh, she said, "Let me see your purse. I'm gonna carry your purse. Your purse pretty." And it was because I remember exactly where it looked. It was a cream color. It had a lot of space in it. You understand me? And I was on my bike with a purse. Imagine that. Uh, she said, "Let me borrow your purse." Came out, purse was stuff okay so i looked over in the purse purse was full of uh, uh pins and, and and uh back then we used white out okay um so my so mama and daddy uh uh went to the you know we pulled up at, at they house well they call them to the grocery store you know mama is creative she is she said take them on to the police station this was mama this was sister cooks i don't want to call sister because i'm gonna say mama tonight she said take them on to the police station they took us to the police station right put us in the in the room where we can only see we we can only see ourselves in that mirror took us through the whole uh uh thing you know she said yeah let them see you know we get home you know she did that is like now let them put them in the police car you know so they can and let them out of the we was on the corner of Cheyenne, people. Okay. <laughs> we was on the corner. Okay. We get out, me and Jessica, we know we about to die. We about to die. <laughs> Listen. And see, if your kids don't feel like they about to die when they do something. You ain't doing means, your job. You ain't doing your job. You slowly <laughs> slipping into bozoism. If your kids don't want to run away from home at some point during their childhood, you done slipped <laughs> into bozoism. I'm trying to help you today. Listen, so we get to the house. My mama, listen, I'm going to call her mama. She was so nice. You know, y'all go on in there and eat. Now, let me tell y'all something about <sighs> this type of mother we had, right? <clears throat> y'all go on in there and eat. Jessica went on in there and eat. Me, my mind started going. Why is she going to feed us? after we done got out of jail, right? But we made it through the, we made it through the food. Zayn, we made it through. Mm -hmm. Then she turned around, she say, all right, now y'all go on in there and get your bath. Gotta get ready, gotta go to school in the morning. Now, Jessica full, feeling good. And we take, it, we take a bath together, we twins. Y'all know back in the day, put the kids in the tub together, right? Just because she, 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 she get dressed, you know, undressed, she get on into her. Me, I'm slow with it. Because some ain't adding up. I just got out of jail. Okay? <laughs> I just got out of jail. Daddy quiet, you know, he ain't said nothing. Okay, so that means that a discussion was had on the way home from the jail. See what I'm saying? Because they mm -hmm. weren't in the same car with us. Mama, she is go eat she is take a bath she is caring now okay this is the same lady that said line up 
<laughs> and she, you get know what I'm saying? And one uh -huh. took off, ran through the kitchen, came to the end of the line. Something's gonna happen, right? Mm -hmm. I say, just because something's gonna happen. Oh, girl, get in the she get in the tub, right? So I'm moving slow. Next thing you know, the door just busts open. Do you hear me? Mama came through there with a stanching cord. See, y'all don't y'all don't know what a stanching cord is. Y'all don't know, but the people in the back know what a stanching cord is. Okay. Mama came through there like I like a uh like a ninja. Oh, <laughs> we was in the water. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I tried to tell Jessica. I tried to tell her. I said, God, <laughs> oh that's when you start to apologize. Now let me tell y'all something. When your kids start apologizing, I didn't mean to do it. I I I wasn't trying to do it. This what happened, this, that, and other. Now, this is the difference between if you got it, what it takes to be a nun bozo, you know, you got the, you got, you, you, you got the potential to be a parental Batman. Okay. That's stinging sensation. See, see Sable with me. You, I know Sable, girl, listen, <sighs> when your kids start saying, I, I mean to do it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See. See, boom, my sidekick on here. She on here. Look at her. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna do it no more. I ain't gonna do it no more. I ain't gonna do it no more. Now, this is how I know you're a soldier. If you can soldier through that, because I'm gonna tell you something. If your kid ain't ready to run away, somebody gonna listen to this and say these people crazy. If your kid ain't ready to run away, then you slowly slipping into Bozo Winsome. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was ready to go the next day. I had planned where I was going, who I was going to live with, who I was going to call. I had, <laughs> I had wrote it in a journal. She found the journal, though. I thought I was going to die. Well, I, look, mama found the journal. Listen, I'll talk. That's another show. Um, 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 who I was going to live with, who I was going to marry. I don't know. I know it had nothing to do with me leaving, but who I was, you know, Please, please. I was out of there. I was out of there. I don't know where Jessica was, but I was out of there. I was out of there, Sam. <laughs> now, I done gave y'all the tools y'all need to keep from slipping into parental bozoism, okay? Mm. I done gave y'all the tools that you need, okay? Do y'all have any questions tonight? <laughs> well, I, I only said one part of my thing. Okay, let's no, go. About the, children. the second part. Mm -hmm. Mind your damn business. Hey! <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> Stay out of other people's business. Don't hey! don't comment on other people's relationships, on other uh -huh. people's finances, on uh -huh. other people's lives. Yeah. Just if it doesn't have anything to specifically do with you, it's not your business. It's not your. Don't business. touch it. Don't touch it with your mind. Don't touch it with your mouth. Don't Come touch on. it with nothing. Mm, that second part. Let's mind go. your business. Mind your business. And if you don't want your business out there, keep it to yourself. Keep it. <sighs> now, before we release you tonight, I just want to say this. Mind your business. <laughs> oh, oh, I like this one. People get on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Don't let folk run your life, okay? Don't let folk get into your parent in, into your uh parentage, okay? Don't mm. let them do it. Don't let them do it, girl. Don't do that, girl. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that, girl. I wouldn't do that if I was you. They over there. They over there got control of their household, okay? And they helping you raise a monster. They helping you. Listen, Medea said this, okay? Medea said this. You either want your child, right? In a in wait 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 somebody talking. You either want your child, right, to go to Penn State or the state penitentiary. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that that is true. For that reason, and for that reason, for that reason. Hey, oh look, okay, listen. 
all the time. Block them, block them, block them. In the name of the good Lord Jesus. Amen. Listen, y'all on fire tonight. Renee said, period. <laughs> Got to know <laughs> it. <laughs> if it don't apply, it don't fly. We want to thank everybody for the love you're showing tonight. Sable. Sable, I need you to uh, I need you to send me uh your address. We're gonna give you a complimentary mug sent straight from us. Because we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And that being all, <laughs> don't be a bozo. We love you and we out. Zam, anything else? Anything mm, else? No, nah, no. Nah, I think I think we didn't cover everything tonight. We didn't cover everything. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> we out. We out. Peace. the Lord, everybody. Yeah. I'm in this cook. This is the family that God has blessed me with. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. And remember, this is the family that we are.